Hello students, welcome back to our class. In the previous session, we discussed about similarity of triangles and a similarity criterion. And in this session, we are going to discuss about what is the relation between the areas of similar triangles and their corresponding sides, corresponding medians, corresponding altitudes, corresponding angular bisectors and uh, corresponding perimeters. Right? Okay. So, since we know that two triangles are said to be similar, then their corresponding sides are proportional as well as corresponding angles are equal. So, if any one of the condition is satisfied by a pair of triangles, then other condition will also be satisfied automatically. Now, I am taking two triangles which are similar, I am going to find out the ratio of their areas, then I will be getting the ratio of their areas is equal to ratio of squares of their corresponding sides, ratio of squares of their corresponding altitudes, ratio of squares of their corresponding medians, ratio of squares of their corresponding perimeters as well as ratio of squares of their corresponding angular bisectors also. right? So, I am taking that as a statement, the first statement is going to be if two triangles are similar, if two triangles are similar, if two triangles are similar, then ratio of their areas, ratio of their areas is equal to is equal to ratio of squares, ratio of squares of their corresponding, ratio of squares of their corresponding sides. This is what the very first thing that we are going to prove. If two triangles are similar, then ratio of their areas is equal to ratio of squares of their corresponding sides. How are you going to prove that? For that, what is the information given? Two triangles are similar, that is what the information given. So, two triangles are similar, so that I am going to consider two triangles. Let us consider the first triangle is triangle ABC and the second triangle is triangle PQR. So, these two are two triangles and moreover these two triangles are similar according to the information given. So, similar means what? Their corresponding angles are equal, corresponding sides are proportional. So, that angle A is equal to angle P, angle B is equal to angle Q, obviously angle C is equal to angle R. That is what I am going to write here. The information given in this statement is triangle ABC similar to triangle PQR. That means, angle A is equal to angle P, angle B is equal to angle Q, and angle C is equal to angle R. Also, AB by PQ is equal to BC by QR, which is also is equal to AC by PR. Right? That was what the information given. So, what are you going to prove here? Going to prove that their ratio of their areas, ratio of their areas means area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR is going to be ratio of squares of their corresponding sides. Ratio of squares of their corresponding sides means AB square by PQ square which is equal to BC square by QR square, which is equal to AC square divided by PR square. right? So, this is what you need to prove. So, in order to prove the ratio of areas is equal to something, we should know about the area of the particular triangle. What do you mean by area of a triangle and in which conditions we can find area of the triangle? Only when you know the base as well as the corresponding altitude. So, any one of the side can be considered as the base of the triangle, but where is the height? So, that is what is our construction. So, what am I going to construct here? I am going to construct altitude AD drawn on BC as well as 
altitude for example, P m drawn on Q r. Okay. So, P m and A d both are altitudes drawn on triangles. Now, I am going to figure out what is the area of triangle A B C as well as area of triangle P Q r. So, consider triangle area, area of triangle A B C divided by area of triangle P Q r which is going to be ratio of squares of their corresponding sides that is what you are going to prove you will have to keep that thing in mind. Okay, first area of A B C, area of A B C is equal to half into base into corresponding altitude that is what half into base is going to be B C and corresponding altitude is going to be A D divided by half into area of triangle P Q R base is Q R and then corresponding altitude is equal to P M. right? Can we cancel half and half as well as B C and sorry A D and P M? Yes, we can cancel. So, finally, we left with area of triangle A B C divided by area of triangle P Q R which is equal to B C left in the numerator, Q R left in the denominator therefore, B C divided by Q R. Mm, here something that I cancelled, but I am not supposed to cancel here because both of them are not same. So, I would do one thing here B C by Q R into A D by P M that is what I need to write exactly because I cannot cancel anything right. So, here off into base is B C into altitude is equal to A D whole divided by half into Q R into P M. Since I cannot cancel anything then B C into A D by Q R into P M I would write it as B C by Q R into A D divided by P M. Okay? Let it be first equation, but see here A D and P M are our creations it was not given in the statement since we need altitudes drawn on the basis. So, that is why we have considered A D and P M. So, we need some information regarding A D by P M in terms of A B by P Q or B C by Q R or A C by P R. For that you need to observe this triangle as well as this triangle. In these two triangles A B D P Q M what are those two triangles A B D and P Q M angle A D B equal to 90 and angle P M Q is also equal to 90 degrees because both are perpendiculars and then angle B is equal to angle Q that was already given in our statement. So, what do you mean by that in triangle A B D and triangle P Q M angle B is equal to angle Q and angle A D B is equal to angle P M Q. So, two angles of one triangle are equal to the corresponding angles of the second triangle. Then what can you infer about triangle A B D and triangle P Q M? Yes, by A A similarity those two triangles are similar. right? So, I would write that by A A similarity by A A similarity triangle what is the first triangle A B D triangle A B D similar to triangle P Q M P Q M. Since those two triangles are similar by A A similarity what can you infer about the sides corresponding sides must be proportional right because they are already similar. Therefore, by C P S T by C P S T first side by first side that is A B divided by P Q is equal to second side by second side that is B D divided by Q M and third side by third side that is A D divided by P M. Right? That is what the information see we are almost there because in the place of A B by P Q we can write A D by P M, but A B by P Q is exactly same as B C by Q R. So, in the place of B C by Q R you can write A D by P M or in the place of A D by P M you can write B C by Q R. Did you understand that? I repeat by this relation A B by P Q is equal to B D by Q M is equal to A D by P M. See we look for only A D by P M. 
we need to replace it by something <coughs> right. So, a d by p m is here which is equal to a b by p q, but a b by p q was already equal to b c by q r. So, what does that mean? We can substitute a d by p m is equal to b c by q r. Did you understand? So, I will write that here clearly a d by p m which is equal to a b by p q, but a b by p q is already equal to b c by q r. Therefore, we can write b c by q r in the place of a d by p m in the first equation. So, therefore, the first equation will become area of a b c by area of p q r is equal to b c by q r is b c by q r, but in the place of a d by p m we can write b c by q r. So, b c by q r into b c by q r is equal to b c square by q r square. Therefore, from the first equation we can say that area of triangle a b c divided by area of triangle p q r is equal to b c square divided by q r square b c square by q r square, but b c square by q r square also equal to a b square by p q square also equal to a c square by p r square because we are squaring them. So, which is also equal to a b square by p q square which is also equal to a c square divided by p r square. So, this way we can prove that if two triangles are similar then ratio of their areas is equal to ratio of squares of their corresponding sides. Now, you see here one more very important thing here we need to understand that from this two triangles are similar then ratio of their areas is equal to ratio of squares of their corresponding sides right. Why sides? Because we substituted b c by q r in the place of a d by p m see here this is a d by p m is equal to b c by q r that is what we substituted, but why do not we substitute a d by p m in the place of b c by q r can we substitute? Suppose when you substitute a d by p m only in the place of b c by q r what will you get the result? The result will become b c by q r is equal to a d by p m into a d by p m a d by p m into a d by p m is equal to a d square by p m square it means area of triangle a b c by area of triangle p q r is equal to a d square by p m square also what is that a d and what is that p m a d square by p m square means ratio of squares of their corresponding altitudes that is what I am going to include here corresponding sides otherwise corresponding altitudes corresponding altitudes also. So, by this we prove two things what are those two things if you are given two triangles which are similar then ratio of their areas is equal to ratio of squares of their corresponding sides as well as ratio of squares of their corresponding altitudes also. So, this is the way that we can prove the statement right and coming to the next one what is the next one if two triangles are similar ok if two triangles are similar if two triangles are similar then ratio of their areas ratio of their areas is equal to ratio of their areas is equal to ratio of squares of their corresponding ratio of squares of their corresponding medians what is the next one ratio of squares of their corresponding medians. How are we going to prove this again we are talking about two triangles are similar let me take two triangles which are similar this is the first triangle for example, a b c and I will take tri second triangle let it be triangle p q r such that these two triangles are similar it means angle a is equal to angle p angle b is equal to angle q obviously angle c is equal to angle r and we are talking about the medians right. So, what do you mean by median of a triangle 
median of a triangle means a line segment, a line segment joining midpoint of one vertex to its opposite side. A line segment joining midpoint of one side to its opposite vertex is said to be the median. A triangle has three vertices as well as three sides which are opposite to three vertices. Therefore, there are totally three medians, right. We know about the point of concurrence of medians of a triangle is said to be centroid. We already discussed in grade 9, fine. So, I am going to draw one median here. So, this is one median, let it be some d. Since this is the midpoint of the base, so BD length and DC length must be equal. Similarly, I will draw one more median here. This is one more median such that this part and this part both are equal, let it be some s. Okay? That is what I am going to write exactly here. What is the information given in the statement? Given that triangle ABC similar to triangle PQR, since they are similar that implies their corresponding angles are equal, angle A is equal to angle P, angle B is equal to angle Q and angle C is equal to angle R and also A B by P Q is equal to B C by Q R is also equal to A C by P R. And what is one more thing given? A D and P S are medians drawn on B C and Q R respectively. Also, also A D comma P S are medians are medians drawn on b c and q r respectively right so this is what the information given in the statement now what are you going to prove you are going to prove that area of triangle abc by area of triangle pqr area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR is equal to ratio of squares of their corresponding medians. Here the median is AD, here the median is PS which is equal to AD square by PS square. This is what you need to prove. If we once observe clearly, we have three similarity criterions. They are S S S similarity, A A A similarity, S A S similarity also. So, by any one of these similarity criterions, we can say that the given two triangles are similar triangles. See here the information given that A B C and P Q R both are similar triangles. And we already proved just before the statement that if two triangles are similar, ratio of their areas is equal to ratio of squares of their corresponding sides. That was by default condition because we already proved it. So, what am I going to do here? I am going to consider the given condition. What is the given condition? A B by P Q equal to B C by Q R is equal to A C by P R. If we once observe these two triangles again, I am going to consider these two triangles. Okay? In those two triangles, I would consider the given information. What is that information? Consider a B by P Q is equal to B C by Q R. Can I take that? Because A B by P Q is equal to B C by Q R, it was already given. I would do one thing. Since D is the midpoint of B C, I would say this is X and this is X because both are equal parts. Similarly, Q S is equal to Y and this one also Y. Instead of B C, can I write X plus X is equal to 2 S? So, this is 2 X divided by Instead of Q R, can I write y plus y is equal to 2 y, which is equal to 2 y. So, 2 x by 2 y is nothing but x divided by y. What does this mean? That implies A B by P Q is equal to x by y. Instead of that x, can I write B D and instead of this y, can I write Q S? Yes, which is equal to B D divided by Q S and uh, once you observe, where those sides are proportional, in which triangle those two sides are proportional, the one which I put star. In those two triangles, A B by P Q, A B by P Q is equal to B D by Q S, B D by Q S and one more thing that is angle B is equal to angle Q that was already given and 
angle B is equal to angle Q that was already given in our statement. So, what can you infer about these two triangles with the help of this information? Yes. A B by P Q is equal to B D by Q S and angle B is equal to angle Q by S A S similarity these two triangles are similar. Hope you understand. Therefore, by S A S similarity triangle A B D A B D is similar to triangle P Q S P Q S. Since those two triangles are similar, then by C P S T. So, what can you say that A B divided by P Q is equal to A D divided by P S, right? Is also equal to A D by P S. Now, with the help of this information and by that default condition, we can say since triangle A B C similar to triangle P Q R, then ratio of their areas that is area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR is equal to ratio of squares of their corresponding sides right. So, AB square by PQ square is equal to BC square by QR square equal to AC square by PR square, but instead of AB square by PQ square can I write AD square by PS square? Yes, which is equal to AD square divided by PS square. So, hope you understand. Therefore, if two triangles are similar ratio of their areas is equal to ratio of squares of their corresponding medians also. Hope you understand. Thank you.